Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. We are Motion Picture Sisters. For today's video we will be telling you our top five Christmas movies. I guess like real life action yeah. movies. Um, mm -hmm. We'll do a separate video for our favorite like animated Christmas movies. My favorite. Her favorite. <laughs> um, but there's, she has five and I have five and we don't know what each other's fives are. Um, but they're probably going to like overlap some of them because we kind of have almost the same kind of Christmas taste. But if you enjoy Christmas movies, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you like all things that have to do with movies and TV. So without further ado, let's get into my top five Christmas movies of all time. And my top five. Okay. None of these are really in order until we get to like the last ones. Yeah. Um, we couldn't really decide like five, four, three, two, one. So. Yeah. None of these are like particularly in order except for the last one that we talk about. That'll be our like <laughs> it's the same one. You know, it's like our top favorite. I'll start off the first one that we don't have, which is Home Alone. I haven't really. I'll looked... put a picture of it here. <laughs> I've never really watched it much. I guess growing up until I guess last year was the first time I watched it again. For the first time feels like, but I guess one or two I like. It's on all the time. It is on freeform. And then I watch it, and then it stop. I have to stop watching. And then I pick up again on uh, Disney Plus, which is good. I don't like that movie. It gets on my nerves. I don't like it. That kid is very resourceful. Very. You must I... watch a lot of TV. Yes. But I like number two too because it two two because <laughs> it's in New York, so it feels a little bit more Christmassy. So which one like... do you like better? I don't know. The first ones are usually always, you know, the rich one's always better than the second one because, you know, can't do what they do the first one. But I want to, I want to say the second one. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Are you going to Yeah, I'm going to do my next one. Okay. The first one on my list is, I would assume it's a classic. It's a classic to me. It's probably not a classic oh, to anybody else. It? Sure. Muppets. No. <gasps> it is none other than... Scrooge. Oh. Um, okay. My family watched this last night without me because I fell asleep. Because I, <laughs> I tried to wake you up. I don't sleep this time. I had a hard day. I was at work all day. I didn't do much. But it was a slow day. But I was tired. And we went shopping afterwards. So I was tired. So I didn't get to like watch it. Also, I'm going to have to rewatch it. However, for those of you who may have never seen it, I don't know how, but there's some. I'm sure there is. There is. There's a girl at work who's never seen it. So. Yeah. And there is some it's, type of language in it, which I like watching on TV better because there's no language in it. She don't like language. I, I Like I said, I can go up to such and such. Chrissy's PG-13. Um, but this is your classic Christmas Carol story. This guy's a TV executive, and he's like a jerk, a big creep. And then his boss comes back and is like, you're going to be visited by three ghosts. And the first ghost, she's hilarious. Yeah, that's the Christmas present or past? She's the present. She's the present. The first guy's the ca taxi cab driver. He's the ghost of the Christmas past. Present, she's a riot. She, like, beats him up the whole time. And then the third guy, who's the future, he never speaks because they never do in any of the movies, I don't think. So he's just mm -hmm. he's just scary-looking dude. But it's really good. Bill Murray, if you can't tell, mm -hmm. is in it. My ring light. There you go. Great movie. It's a classic. You need to see it. It's always on TV if you haven't seen it, but you probably have. But it's really good. Okay. And the second one. A Miracle on 34th Street. Huh. I don't think I like this version. You like the newer one? I like the newer one. With the one. girl off Matilda? I guess. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I don't know. I don't know if it's just the old type TV-ish look to it. The film's but, not its best quality, but. No. I mean, back then, of course it was, but I don't know. I just like the story. Because that wasn't one of yours. Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay. My next pick is not a classic. However, it's one of my favorites. Want to take a guess? Christmas with the Cranks. <laughs> yep. Christmas with the Cranks. I love this movie. Okay. I love this movie. Every Christmas, and I know they overplay it on TV now. Which you have to watch every time. <laughs> but I watch it every time. Because you have to. Because... It's just because it's becoming a classic, I think, to everybody because it's so good. You have Tim Allen, who's the Santa Claus anyway, and then you have Jamie Lee Curtis, 
and all they want to do is just like go away like no we don't want to do christmas this year because our daughter's gone let's not do it and i heard someone um learning to be fearless she was watching this oh. and she goes well why don't the people their friends just like be like supportive because like their daughter's gone and they don't want to do christmas this year but i saw it as <coughs> bless you thank you but i saw it as that he was just trying to be cheap and didn't want to spend all the money on christmas this year because he's like look at all the money we'll save if we yeah. just go on a cruise so i don't know i can take it both ways i guess but this is a good movie definitely check it out if you haven't seen it my family gets sick of me watching it every year but it's a good one and my next one is one you don't really like <laughs> I don't really like Polar Express. <laughs> no. No, that's animation. Oh, true. And Company Miners. I don't like this one. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess I watched it when, I guess I was young enough when they came out the same age as them, and I just watch it every year. Oh my gosh. <laughs> After I see you. It took my breath away. Is it a Christmas movie though? Yeah. Oh, because they're, they're all going, going away for right, Christmas right, right, too. Right. Their families are going back to the families. And are, are they divorced? Yeah, most oh, of their parents are. Yeah. And then one of the girl's parents are rich and she'll have to go, I think, to the house by herself. Okay. Well, I don't think the nanny's there. So I guess oh. the, technically the premise of the story is like unaccompanied minors are like the ones that are on a plane that don't have like mm -hmm. a guardian. So they're flying by themselves. And are they stuck in the airport? Yeah. Most of them, well, you have the troublemakers. What's the, what's the, who's the villain? Uh, the guy who owns the, doesn't really own, but the manager of the airport. And what's he doing? Because I'm trying to think of what the story, <laughs> what, what the premise of the story is. Like, because there's always a conflict, so what's the conflict? Are well, they just running amok? Pretty much. Because they just, they're trapped, trapped? What's trapped? They're trapped into a room with... Is that Fizz off the yeah. show? Okay. Um, what's his real name? Wilmer? Wilmer Brown Road. Yeah, he's kind of in charge of them. Okay. He's in charge of them, and the main characters, you know, cause havoc, and they just want to be out of the room, and the good ones get to go to, I think it's another room or a hotel before they do, so okay. they have to go after his sister and all this good stuff, and yeah, it's just a good movie. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to get it from your pile, because yeah. my last one here is here, but I need... My three and four. Well, one, two, three, four. And then my honorable mentions are over here. Okay. So, close your eyes. I, I don't want her to see. I don't know which one you're going to pick. The next one on my list, in no particular order. Uh, we'll do this one next. Okay. What do you think it is? The Grinch. Oh. Because it's going to be the same one as mine. You saw. It's the same one? Yeah. Okay. So, so the order. Grinch. <laughs> on both of ours. That's cool. Um, yeah, again, this is the Jim Carrey version, because while I like the cartoon version, yeah, this is it's only a half one. hour, and I like how much they put into this. However, don't watch the musical that was just on. Huh. No hate, but... Huh. It was Will Schuster! Mr. Schuster, wow! They did, but they, guess they knew how to... Boo-boo! Boo-boo Stewart, <laughs> wow! Uh. Anyway... Mm -mm. That wasn't it. But this is it. Okay. If you're going to watch any Christmas... Well, I won't say any Christmas movie. But this should definitely be, like, in your top five. Three. I was going to say three. But that's 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 a lot. But this should definitely be a staple you should watch at Christmas time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. At least all the Grinches. Yes. Do you watch them all? Three? Three. The, the newest one. one it's on Netflix, I think. So if you want to watch a cartoon, the newer mm -hmm. cartoon one... It's not on Netflix. I think they took it off. <gasps> oh. That's on Netflix, but I'm pretty sure they took the newer one off. Never mind. Never mind. Well, technically, this is both of them together. So this is your last, your two and one? No, because that was be my two. No. Yeah. One, two, three. Three. Four, five. Those are mine. Uh, uh Home Alone was my... Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Mm. Okay. So it will be Santa Claus 1 and 2. I like the original, but I really like the second one better. We watched the original last night. Yeah, and we gotta watch this tonight. Because I don't like three. I, I don't, don't either. Like three. Sorry, Martin Short. Nothing against you. I just don't <laughs> like three. I think it's the way they did it. 
They always make Jack Frost kind of like the villain. Well, he was the villain. I meant like oh, in everything in the movie almost. Well, it's because he has an icy cold yes. heart. <laughs> I was say, but he has an icy so cold like heart. Are you saying you have icy cold heart? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I do. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sometimes I do. But yeah. So I guess these are probably also yours down the line. Um, I'm on to number two, and my number two was this one. Ah, Santa Claus. Although last night, as we were watching it, we saw very many plot holes, like, in the second one, spoiler if you've never seen it, please skip ahead a little bit, but in the second one, he needs to find a wife, because he can't be Santa without it, okay? But where is this guy, Santa? Where is Santa's wife That's in this one? That's why he had to fall off the roof, because mm -mm. he didn't have a Plot wife. hole, plot hole. Nope. Plot hole. No. Plot hole. He didn't have a wife. He couldn't be Santa. He had a fall through. But honestly, apparently Tim Allen does great Christmas movies because he did Christmas with the Cranks. Well, he did this first and then Christmas with the Cranks and all that. But the real star of this movie is Neil. <laughs> <laughs> the new husband. <laughs> you never know how funny it was to watch the last night. The wife's new husband. <laughs> or boyfriend. I think it's husband. He's They're married, right? Yeah. Married. But he's the, he is the star. He is the star. And honestly, I still just don't understand. Charlie's like seven years old. Why can't they just let him believe in Santa? He's literally trying. Have you ever seen a reindeer fly? <laughs> it's like, no. what no. happened? It's like, come yeah, on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Still, this is such a good one. Okay. So you're done on yours, right? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. I have two honorable mentions because one is surprisingly a Hallmark movie. I think you'll know what it is. You probably are. No, you don't know. But, I think I know, but it might be Lifetime if you're thinking of. Oh, is it Lifetime? My bad. I'll yeah, do. Well, there's two of them you like. I'll do the other one first. Okay. I watch this every year because I I grew up watching this. Okay. It's a cartoon. Any idea? I didn't think we were doing cartoons. <gasps> oh, whoops. Sorry. But go ahead and do it. Um, I forgot. We're well, doing... I have to do mine. Okay. You have an honorable mention that's a cartoon? Yeah. But it'll be like the top one of everything I did. Never mind that. We will wait. I forgot all about that. We're doing another video with cartoons. So I only have one honorable mention. We're fine. <laughs> um, and it is, you're right, it is Lifetime. Do you have a guess? The 12 Trees one. Ah, the 12 Trees of Christmas. Yeah. This one right here, okay, because it is about a library that's going to get shut down and to kind of, like, keep it going or to, like, celebrate it, the last, like, hoorah or whatever, they do, right? Because it's going to get shut down and they're not yeah. trying to really fundraise until the one person's like, we won't, we won't cut, we won't, like, tear it down. We're terrible at describing I movies. It's it okay. Yes, I haven't watched it this year, but... Um, it has Lindy Booth in it, I think is her name, and she's been in other stuff, but, um, she's, like, the librarian, and there's 12 different Christmas trees that they have to decorate, and they're all different themes, and I love Christmas, Christmas trees, and books, libraries, all together, so it's a good time. Mm -hmm. I like it. There's a love story, and we don't want to talk about that. There's always a love <laughs> story. Know. There always is. Lifetime and Hallmark. Different channels, same movies, same premise of it. But it's a good it's movie. Bad. Okay. And my top movie. Do you have an idea? And you don't have it? You don't have Oh, it. I have it. Oh, you have it. I have it. And you may consider this a cartoon, but I don't. Well, then it's probably Muppets. Oh. It's the Muppets Christmas Carol. Because it's not a cartoon, madam. It's not. Because Scrooge, <laughs> the main guy, Sir Michael Caine himself, is in it, and he's a real person. And Muppets aren't really cartoons. And Muppets are Muppets. They're not cartoons. So mm -hmm. I consider this the top tier Christmas movies. <laughs> if you're going to watch anything Christmassy, it's the Muppets Christmas Carol. We've already watched it once this year, and I will watch it again before Christmas, probably Christmas Eve, because then I can sing that Kermit song, and it'd actually be true. Only one mm -hmm. more sleep till Christmas. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to sing no, it. It just makes me look weird every year. Okay. <laughs> But, you know, it's kind of obvious. It's just the Muppet take on Christmas Carol. You got Kermit, who's Bob Cratchit. You think I haven't seen this in forever. <laughs> Bob Cratchit. Miss Piggy's the wife. Sir Michael Caine is Ebenezer Scrooge. Uh, Gonzo? Or is it Rizzo? 
Who's the dude with the big nose? Don't look at me. Oh, <laughs> I think I want to say Gonzo, who's Charles Dickens. I thought Rizzo the rat. Rizzo's the rat. And then <sighs> Fuzzy Bear, Fuzzy Wig, the bear. All you need to know about Michael Caine, okay? <laughs> All you need to know. It's a good movie. Classic. Definitely watch it. And that is all? That is all. I don't think I have any honorable mention ones. No, I did. I had the one because I just like... I mean, there's Hallmark movies. We could do a Hallmark movie one. Yes, we could. Yes, we could. Tell her in the comments you do not want to see a Hallmark yes, movie. Yeah. Because they're all the same. Doesn't mean anything. So does your SVUs. Stop it. Stop it. Each story is different. Each sto there's So is Hallmark. No, there's a different motive they for are. each killing. Well, I'm Christy. <laughs> and I'm Katie. And thank we, you for watching. We didn't even know. <laughs> we I didn't say that at the beginning. <laughs> no. Um, but thank you all for watching this video. We're a hot mess because I can do this on myself, but when we put two together, it just doesn't end up very well. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider it giving it a thumbs up. There you go. And consider subscribing if you're new and would like to see more of our faces and the hot mess that we do of these movies, these videos. It's it's a time. It's quite a time. But anyway, until the next one where we will be talking about, I guess, our five top animated movies, right? Five? Yeah. Okay. If we can do five, we'll have to go over I think that. it's going to be five. And we will not be doing the Hallmark movies. Maybe. I don't know. We'll decide. But until next time, see you later, guys. Bye. Bye. That was a disaster. It was. So <laughs> oh my gosh.